In this exercise, we're going to work on a flowing weight shift, shifting the weight from side to side in a flowing motion that shouldn't cause any strain, but it's going to help us feel the movement of the core. I'm going to start with my feet slightly angled, about that much. I'm going to change weight, step into a wider than shoulder width stance. And then I'm going to shift my weight, rotating the core to the right and dropping my weight on the left. And then I'm going to settle the weight on the left, squaring the body up. And then now I'm going to retreat back to the other leg, turning the upper and lower torso to the left and then settle the weight. I'm going to retreat to the left settle on the left, retreat to the right, settle on the right. And we're going to flow from one position to the other. This is the settling position. This is the set core technique, flexion of my left hip. I have torsion on the right. I'm going to shift my weight or retreat to the left by turning both the upper and lower torso to the right as I flex this hip, all of this torso energy turning into this flexing hip is going to shift my weight over to the left. Now I'm going to settle the weight on the left by taking my lower torso from here to there. So now I have set on the left. Now I'll go to retreat, flexing the left hip, Turn the upper and lower torso to the left, and then settle the weight by turning the lower torso to the right. Retreat, set, retreat, set. Flow from one movement to the other. In Tai Chi, they say one of the goals is to move with continuous flow, which really means we're connecting each of the core techniques without stopping. Once I get to the end of this core technique, I shift to the next core technique, to the next core technique, to the next core technique. The better I can connect those, the more fluidly I connect them, the more fluid the motion will be. I can speed up by rotating faster. I can slow down, feel the rotation, the rotation, the rotation, the rotation, the rotation, the rotation. Feel how that works with the hips, flexing the hip, continue flexing the hip, flexing the hip. Continue flexing the hip, flexing my right hip, continue flexing the right hip, flex the left hip, continue flexing the left hip. The hips work in coordination with the upper and lower torso to create the full motion. In the second part of the exercise, we're going to go from set to lift. Lift is going to bring my weight right back to the middle. And then I'm going to retreat to the right. And we'll continue the exercise. Do this any number of times until you settle on the right. And then now we're going to lift to the center from the right. Lifting is the lift core technique. I'm going to flex my right hip. I'm going to turn my upper torso to the right and my lower torso to the left. When I did retreat, remember I turned both the upper and lower torso to the right and that triggered that. When I use left, 
I'm going to turn my upper torso in the opposite direction from the lower torso, and I end up here. Now I'm going to do retreat, and I can resume the motion. Retreat, set. Retreat, set. Retreat, set. Lift. Retreat, set. Retreat, set. Retreat, set. Lift. When I lift, there's no pushing. I'm not extending my hip. This hip is still flexing. It's the extension of the knee that rises the body up. I'm not pushing off the ground with my hip joint. Now retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, lift. Retreat, set. Now I'm going to take this movement, I'm going to step back a little bit because I'm going to step the motion forward. As I'm retreating, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set. I'm going to retreat and then instead of going to set, I'm going to go to sink by turning both the upper and lower torso all in the same direction. Sink is going to cause me to collect my right leg to the left leg. Now I can retreat back and continue on. Retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, sink. Retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, sink. From sink, I'm going to step forward with a catwalk by turning my upper torso from counterclockwise to clockwise. That's going to place my foot on the ball and the flat of the foot. And now I'm going to rise up using lift and then settle the weight using lift on the other side and then retreat. Go back into the motion. In this direction, retreat, sink, step forward with set. This is going to take me out of the camera range for my feet, but I'm going to lift using lift with flexion of the left hip, lift with flexion of the right hip to settle the weight over here, and then sink and retreat to start the motion again. Let me go back. Lift, sink, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, set, retreat, sink, set, lift, lift, sink, retreat, set.